Hello, my fellow memers and dreamers. It is I, GoldPitLuck64, and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Last time, well, we discovered the third floor and we investigated it. That's literally what we did. There wasn't anything else really that exciting other than something that Asahita discovered last episode. But, and anyway, uh, let's find out what everyone has to say. Let's talk to you so, first. Um, um, I wasn't able to help much with the investigation, but I did make one discovery. Could it be? It didn't happen to be a donut related discovery, did it? Mm. What does that even mean? It's right. Never mind, it's about the nurse's office. Remember, there's one on the first floor, right? I remember, but it's locked. Yeah. Actually, not anymore. So then. Did you find any protein in there? Or even vitamin supplements would be fine. Hmm. I did look, but no dice. Just a bunch of headache medicine and over-the-counter stuff. I see. That's disappointing. Aww. It is disappointing. But the end of the world is already here. I'm not sure it's that disappointing. Okay. Uh... I'm gonna get you out of the way, big guy. Mm -hmm. There was an army on the third floor and it had all kinds of gear. <laughs> now I'll be able to recreate all of my favorite anime characters. Oh yeah, speaking of anime, that reminds me. I found something while I was looking around. Perhaps. Hmm, a digital camera? Wait, I think we have a burp of the episode. Damn it! Uh, <laughs> I thought it would happen. That's what it seems like. Hmm. Does it still work? Yeah, it seems fine. You know? Well, then let's see it. What the heck? What the heck? This thing is like a kid's toy. It looks like you could store like five pictures, maybe. It doesn't have a timer or anything. Well, on top of that, it appears seem it it appears seems questionable. Is this some kind of anime character? Oh, nothing. Rude! She's not strange. She's Princess Piggles from Demon Angel Star Pretty Pudgy Princess. Oh, you recognize this for me? <laughs> of course I recognize it. It's a super rare prize that was given away at a bingo contest at a big anime convention. You have any idea how much I'd have to pay that guy to get my hands on it? Yeah! Wait! That's my camera! What? Damnation! Where did you find it? In the physics lab. <laughs> it's my most prized possession. I brought it here with, uh, with me, but I lost it on the first day, along with my phone. Let's see. Why would it have reappeared in the physics lab? However... Uh, but look at what? it! It got all messed up. Like... When someone steals a sticker from your collection, or you buy a second-hand shirt, well, that's it. Huh? That's it? It's not in main condition. I don't need it anymore! But weren't you just saying how much it meant to you? <laughs> so may I have it? I might be able to find some sort of use for it. If any of you would like to borrow it, Please feel free to ask. Hmm. Well, I can't really imagine any of us are going to need to take any pictures or whatever. Yeah, uh, true. Alright. Sakura, my girl, what's up? I searched the entire third floor, but all the windows in the halls and rooms were blocked off. <sighs> I wish they'd give us a rest already for serious. Give me back my bright blue skies. <laughs> Just... Forget about it. Impossible. You make it sound like I dropped a nickel or something. Just to be sure, I went one from one end to the other, just testing each metal plate. None of them budged. So in the end... It would seem escape via the third floor is as impossible as we fear. Huh. Alright. I guess I'm gonna talk to everyone in mm, yes, counterclockwise yes. order. The long road to maidenhood begins with a single step. That road may begin with only wrinkly old men, 
But it will end with strapping young, adorable boys. <sighs> what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that laugh. That actually made... <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what? Correct. Hey, my actual girl right here. She saves my ass all the time. And that's why I love about her, man. You have fun? Mad respect. Mad respect. Honestly, you might be number one. Okay. I think it goes Kyoko number one, Sakura number two, um, Asahina number three, and um, Celeste number four. Because Celeste is just Celeste. I don't like her. Not much. There was a remarkable the, there was a rather remarkable physics lab on the third floor. In the middle of the room there was a machine bigger than anything I've ever seen before. Oh yeah, apparently it's an air purifier. Uh -huh. Oh, what's something like that doing there? Hmm? Is the Oh wait, is the device really that big? I really don't get it. Oh. Hey Ishimaru. Hey, what's up, buddy? No use. Damn. Alright, you're hmm. up. Oh, I just remembered. I saw Byakuya a little while ago. What? Where? Where was he? You're kind of scaring me. Where was he? Uh, um. Uh, he was in the locker room. He had a huge stack of books he must have got from the library. No, 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 no! So that's where he was hiding. I won't let him get away from me. <laughs> huh? She just ran off. Is she okay? <laughs> we should not concern ourselves with her. Fair enough. Oh wait, was was there some? Oh yeah, didn't he? Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wait, who's the person that had? Oh, Celeste! Oh, I didn't see you because of fucking Sakura's big <laughs> There is one piece of good news, and it just so happens to be a rec room on the third floor. I have no doubt that our student life will be, uh, will be even more enjoyable because of it. Mm -hmm. Will someone join me in a game of Zocello sometime? Okay, I've heard what everyone else has to say. So now, it's my turn. Hey, um, can I tell you guys something? I found something that's kind of been bothering me. What? What is it? I found this weird picture in the repository. Apparently, Monokuma took it. A weird picture? You mean, like, dirty? No, 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 no. Not that kind of weird. It was a picture of Leon, Mondo, and Chihiro all together. Why? It was three. And the three of them were laughing. Oh, um... Show the three of them together laughing? When could it have been taken? There's more. In the picture, there wasn't any metal sheets covering the windows. Well, then. Then the picture wasn't taken here. Let's see. But I don't recall hearing anything about them knowing each other before coming to see school. Well, you probably just imagine it. Monokuma cast a spell on you. No, I, I saw it. I'm telling you. Hmm. But if it was taken before we got here, or after we got here... How about that? I bet they're still alive! They left the school and then took that picture! Is that right? That's impossible. After all... We saw it with our own eyes. They're all dead. Either murdered or executed. And they're not the only ones. Monokuma killed Junko, and then there's the backstabbing bitch. That wasn't an illusion. It was really, it was real. I'm sure of it. They all died. There's no way any of them are still alive. So we have to figure out when that picture was taken. <sighs> Monokuma most likely forged it. I can't imagine any other possibility. Forged? So all there is to it. <sighs> Stay focused, man. Don't let Monokuma's bullcrap sidetrack you. <laughs> He's right. But more importantly, <laughs> on another topic, there is something that, I, that has been bothering me. I would like to discuss that. Okay. What's up, Celeste? 
Zero is also something that has been bothering me. What? What's bothering you, Celeste? Actually, it's about Hina. Huh? What? Me? <laughs> you said your stomach hurt, did you not? But I believe that was a lie. What really happened? Huh? Oh, sorry. Got him. Huh? <sighs> Varies from person to person, but whenever someone lies, they tend to have a way of showing it. It was called a tell, something that you can't hide no matter how hard you try. Okay. Whenever Hina lies, the tip of her nose just gets a little bit longer. Hello, I'm Geppetto, and this is my son, Pinocchio. Uh, I I'm not Pinocchio, I swear. Uh, my nose isn't getting longer. It's not. Oh, why is my nose getting longer? What? Uh, <laughs> uh, everything's okay. Oh no, it's getting longer. No. Um, uh, 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 I don't know what's going on. Uh, why is it getting longer? I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> okay, that was a dumb bit. Huh? What? For real? <laughs> Actually, no. Huh? Huh? Oh. But your reaction just now confirmed it. You were lying. Oh. That's not fair! Or, that's not fair! <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to lie, at least try to lie convincingly. Hina, be honest. Are you lying about your stomach ache? Yes. I see. Why? Why would you lie about that? That's it. I'm Are you sure feeling of it. guilty about something? Just a second. No, that's not it at all. But... It's just, I mean, I have a reason for it. A reason? And what might that be? Sorry. To be honest, I didn't have a stomachache. I did it because even if I came and told you the truth, I thought you wouldn't believe me. The truth? No. I saw it. Saw what? A ghost. Hmm? A ghost? You mean like that ghost? Hey. Is there more than one ghost? But I mean ghosts are- What the heck? See, I told you! You wouldn't believe me! It's not that I don't believe you, but- Hina. I believe you. Man, shout out to Sakura for being a good ass friend. Fuck y'all. <laughs> y'all ain't even good friends. Those two are best of friends. No matter what anyone else may, might say, I will believe whatever you say no matter what. Okay, now that's a bit. Mm. But you know what? The fact that Sakura is even willing to go there just shows how much of a good person Sakura is. Like, my girl, man. So, can you tell us exactly what happened? Do you really mean that, Sakura? Okay, I'll tell you. So, um... Um, so it happened last night. I was in bed, but I couldn't get to sleep. I just kept thinking about everything that happened up till now. I ended up getting more upset. So to try and cheer myself up, I thought I'd go get some huh? donuts. Donuts again? Honestly. And you ignored the rule regarding sorry. nighttime? I know, sorry. I felt really yeah. bad about it. Anyway, please continue. But... Well, so I left my room and headed for the warehouse. Also, yeah, I I completely forgot last episode to mention th that was kind of hot. <laughs> oh my god, I feel so bad. And then I started hearing a strange sound. Well, I was coming from the direction of the bathhouse, so I headed that way. The locker was halfway open, so I took a look inside. I saw a human shape surrounded by a pale green light. And there, there's no doubt who it was. It was Chihiro! Say what? Ah! No way! No. A, 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 a ghost! Shut up, you shaggy looking at. <laughs> it is not simply. It is simply not possible. You must be mistaken. Just in case any of any wait, just as in more in most cases of paranormal activity, it was born from your weakened mental well. state. Wait. Uh. There we go. Burp of the episode. Let's go.
And all we have to do is go see it for ourselves, right? Let's just go to the bathhouse and see what Hina saw. <sighs> it is a waste of time. Maybe, but there's no harm in it, right? If we don't find anything, that'll be the end of it. What? You're gonna go try and see a g g g g ghost? Is that really a good idea? I might put a curse on you. What the heck? You can wait here if you want. Please. I don't want to be alone! And take me with you! What are you gonna do, Celeste? There is nothing to be done. <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. Mm. How about you, Mr. Ishimaru? Are you gonna wait here? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Oh, um, I guess that's a yes. So, um, it was right here. I saw it right here in the dressing room. Oh yeah, right. I have to get the game back up. You stupid. Uh, um, uh, I'm getting goosebumps. Come on, come on. La la, <laughs> Shut up! What if it actually shows up? Hina. Where was it you saw Chihiro's well, ghost? Well, I heard a sound and when I opened up the locker, I saw a kind of pale outline of Chihiro. Okay. Um, I suppose that means it? Um, is this the locker? There was something in here. Huh? Inside the locker is a laptop? What's something like that doing here? Hey. I remember seeing this. Oh, that's right. I saw it in the library before. Oh, looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old and it's all covered in dust. So? It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. Yeah, but how did the laptop get from the library to here? It would seem... And I guess it's in sleep mode, but the power is definitely on. Huh? But I, I thought it was broken. Hmm. I would bet that Chihiro fixed it. Fair. After all, he was known as the ultimate programmer. Then perhaps... More importantly, Hina, you saw a green light, yes? Surely you did not mistake the light of a monitor for the ghost? I'm surprised you were able to dress yourself in the morning. <laughs> Damn, okay. Okay! Ah. Oh man, I, if I had a Love's, uh, loves Clueless Girls uh, attribute, I would have fallen in love big time just now. I'm so glad I don't have it. What? <laughs> well, I didn't really expect to find a freaking laptop inside a freaking locker, okay? Hey, come on. It's okay, I mean, anyone can make a mistake like that. Mm. As a matter of fact, one time I thought I spotted a gray alien, but it turned out to be a tadpole. What are you saying? Don't compare what happened to me to one of your stupid delusions. Don't be mean. I was just trying to make you feel better. What if I get all depressed forever now? But listen, isn't this really strange? What's this laptop doing in here? In other words, maybe someone hit it here. But... If that's the case, well, we found it pretty easy. Yeah. Whoever put it here, I don't think they were trying to hide it from us. Huh? What do you mean? Hey. Haven't you noticed? There's one big difference between this room and all the others. Hmm, difference? There's no surveillance camera. Yes, it's me. <laughs> what, what, what is that line used for? Yes, it's me. What? That, that's such a weird line to put here, but okay. Precisely. There's no camera in here, which means this is the one spot where the mastermind is blind. Hmm. Hmm. So hmm. you're saying someone hmm. put the laptop here so the mastermind wouldn't know about it? It's true. And what Kina saw wasn't the ordinary glow of a computer screen. It was the figure of Chihiro, shining pale green. Hey. It would be best if we investigated this laptop in a little more detail. Okay. Let's do it. Just like Kyoko said, the display isn't on, but the laptop definitely has power. So then. So first of all, we have to wake it up. 
Right. Start hitting random buttons on the keyboard. And the display instantly began to glow a pale green. There were a bunch of different icons on the desktop. Hey. There. The icon on the far left. What is it? It says... Alter Ego? Hmm. Alter Ego. Literally meaning another self, I believe. In the field of artificial intelligence, it is not uncommon to create different aspects of a personality. You can consider it something like a pen knife. Makoto. Could you let me see it, Makoto? That Kyoko move between me and the computer. She moved the cursor over to the Alter Ego icon, and when she double clicked it, the screen suddenly went dark. And then a voice spoke to us. Master, you're here! Chihiro's face appeared, taking up the entire display. Oh, no! It's Ghost! Buddha, sweet baby Jesus, save me! It's not a ghost. What? what? Oh! Um. Then, what is it? Anyway. I'm sure if we just talk to it, we'll find out. Kyoko Baron began to type, hands blurring across the keyboard. What are you? And then... Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Damn. <laughs> I always get so embarrassed introducing myself. That voice. The tone and everything. Mm. It's Chihiro. I knew it. Alter Ego. I've heard about this kind of AI program, but I've never seen one for myself. AI program? That's right. Chihiro earned his title of Ultimate Programmer. The AI, the AI lives in a computer and by repeating different tasks, it gains knowledge and grows bit by bit. Apparently, Chihiro used a sport vector machine and reinforcement learning to develop it. Eventually, he came up with a breakthrough in artificial intelligence design. Support vector machine? Reinforcement learning? It's true. To put it simply, it's a learning method for computers. Um, you want to know more? It? Just I'm Google sure it, it, okay? In other words. Okay. But if this AI continues to grow, it will become more than just a piece of software to help people. Some say that an AI like this might someday replace people. Mm. And that is why it's called the Alter Ego. A fine choice, then, I must say. And create memories, have thoughts, and grow up. The process isn't much different from how humans work. <laughs> if you were to raise your own AI in that way, it would make perfect sense to refer to it as your alter ego. I see. A second perfect personality that can never forget or grow old. That's what Chihiro created. That's alter ego. Kyoko, uh, how do you know so much about this? Hey, then. Are you okay with this? Anyway, so he fixed the broken la laptop and put his own program on there. This is what this means, yes? Then he brought the machine to the dressing room where the mastermind would not be able to see it. <laughs> but you know all this about master and whatnot, yes, yes. I, I believe I'm on fire. Huh? I thought you were only into 2D. Da, 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 da. This is the most excellent 2D possible! Huh? But he's a guy, and also a computer program. I feel as if... Oh, that aspect is no problem. I mean... That aspect? Anyway... Let's talk to him a little more. Kyoko typed away rhythm rhythmically. How much do you know about what's going on? Only gave me a general idea. Well. But I do know that things have become very grave. He found himself caught up in this without warning. Kyoko immediately shot out another question. Why are you here? That's why. Are you asking what Master had planned for me? Well, he wanted me to analyze the massive numbers of files stored on this laptop. Uh. I believe the files are related to school, but the protection on them is surprisingly strong. So it's taking me a little longer than I thought. Master. But here's what Master must have been thinking. 
The fact that the files are protected so tightly means that they, are some, they must contain some important secret. For example, perhaps the secret of this school. <clears throat> While I was busy struggling to make a sound, Kyoko pushed forward and asked her next, que next question. How much longer until everything is unlocked? Um, it's gonna be a while, leave it to me. but I'm definitely gonna do it, so you can just leave it to me. I see. So, because of how long it would take, he designed Alter Ego to handle the workload. <laughs> Smart. It also means that the work remains uninterrupted even after he's dead. Once again, Kyoko typed quickly. Keep it up, but be careful not to let the mastermind notice you. That's right. Don't worry. I've got a secret plan all ready, just in case. Actually, I can see what's going on using my built-in webcam, so if anyone sh suspicious shows up, I'll just scream for help real loud. It's a pretty basic plan, I have to say. Yes, indeed. Seti's fine during the day, but nighttime is a concern. Huh? Why? Are you okay with this? Has you forgotten? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. Once we close our doors, he can scream as loud as he wants, but we won't hear a thing. Okay then, then how about once it's nighttime, we each take turns guarding the dressing room. However, there's a good chance the mastermind would notice us all going in and out of the dressing room like that. Then, what can we do? So then, once nighttime comes, I'll leave the door to my room open. Yo, what? And there's no way I can miss Alter Ego yelling. Yo, she's risking herself, but I like that. But if you leave your door open all night, then it's true. There's a chance I may become a victim myself. I know. However, but I'm not as weak as you may think. I wouldn't go down without a fight. I assure you. There was an undeniable strength in her voice when she said that. She was totally confident that she would be okay. That confidence was something somewhat similar to Viakia's tone, but at the same time, different. Yeah, it had an entirely different feel, for sure. Like someone who dropped down, uh, dropped onto a battlefield versus someone who had been born on a battlefield. I felt like that was the fundamental difference. I was pulled out. Uh, I was pulled out of my thoughts by the voice suddenly emanating from the laptop. So, um. Um. Would you mind if I asked a few questions? Um. I haven't seen Master for a while. When you got here, I thought it was him, but is Master for a second, for a split second, Kyoko seemed to not know what to do. But she recovered just as fast and quickly began typing. Her answer was clear, concise, direct. Shiro is dead. Mondo killed him. I see. To be honest, I knew all along. I knew the chances that Master would survive this situation were very low. So, I was prepared for this moment. <laughs> it's like... Somehow, I feel kind of sorry for her. Um... I can't even imagine how it must feel to lose your other self. <laughs> it is a simple computer program. It does not have feelings. What? Are you sure about that? Shall we go? Anyway, that's enough for today. If we linger here too long, the masked mind will start to suspect something. And then Kyoko typed one last sentence. I'll come back later. Yes, please do. It's a promise, okay? Bye-bye. The AI seemed totally different from when we first arrived. He seemed upbeat. Was it just because he was following his programming, or...? Could it, he actually have been worried about us? Could it be? Hmm. Oh, what's wrong, Hero? You know? Oh, nothing. I was just wondering if we might be able to get this laptop online. And we could call for help from the outside. Hmm. But this is just a dressing room. I don't think you can get online from here. Well? Well, if we take it out here, out of here and find somewhere that does have online access... Hey! <laughs> That's way too dangerous. The best friend would find out in no time. Um... Oh, yeah, uh, true. Indeed. This is no time for taking needless risks. For now, I'll monitor the progress of the file analysis. I'm confident we'll uncover some kind of clue once it's finished. Mm. 
This feels like a detour more than anything else, but I suppose it can't be helped. Of course. Well, for now, all we can do is wait for Alter Ego to finish his work. You know? So, uh, should we get going? It's true. Indeed. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, we'll be back. I promise. Fun <sighs> for me. Let's go. I suppose. Okay. We all left the dressing room. As soon as we were out in the hall, Hina let out a joyful shout. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? I ended up doing something totally awesome, right? Oh, sorry. As if he'd been waiting for a skew. <laughs> Dun da da da! Hina's gained enough experience to level up! What's the matter? So, what was this awesome something? Monokuma? What the heck? You guys all seem in remarkably good spirits. Did something happen? Uh, no. Uh, nothing in particular. Ooh, keeping secrets. Now there! I demand an exclusive interview! Deny, deny, super deny! What the heck? Yeah, because you demand something doesn't mean we, we have to do it. Say what? Do it? You mean like, do it, do it? Wait, what? What do you mean by do it, do it? You know, you know I'll tell you when you grow up, okay? Disgusting. Ew. Gross. You said do it. Shut up, Monokuma. Just shut up. First, <laughs> we were just talking about going to the bathhouse. We've not had a chance to relax in some time. Huh? <sighs> but unfortunately, the bathhouse is not divided into men and women <laughs> sections. So we decided to do rock, paper, scissors to decide which group would go first. Hina won the match for us, and that is why we were all so pleased. Huh? Yeah, uh, that's right. Speaking of which, okay, boys, why don't you head back on to the dining hall or something? Uh, we're gonna take a nice long bath. Hey, come on. Uh, jeez, what are you gonna do, right? We, we lost fair and square. <laughs> well, ladies, uh, shall we go? Celeste didn't hesitate coming up with the ruse. Her poker face didn't even flinch. So she and the other girls headed back to the dressing room. Oh. Um, Damnation! Nuts and damn it! We totally lost another day with, without getting to take my very first bath here. Um. Yeah, but tomorrow for sure. Uh, you'll definitely get that bath tomorrow. Okay, so should we head back to the dining hall now? Hey! Hold on! Hey! Hey! Something strange here. Very strange. Strange? Well, what do you mean? <laughs> What's strange is this is the perfect chance for you to sneak a peek. Huh? <laughs> That's right. Out. Absolutely right. You were all about the 2D. <laughs> all of you need to shut up, sit down, and listen to what I have to say. An opportunity like this doesn't come along very often. It's the ideal setting of a man's fantasy. I was forced to ask. Oh, bleh. I was forced to ask myself, should I sneak into the bathhouse like Monica must said, or just go quietly back to the dining hall? No, I can't do it. I can't treat the girls like that. Let's just head back to the dining hall. <laughs> what? Well, what? But what about your man's fantasy? I'm not sure a real man's fantasy should be about spying on girls and stuff. It should be more about your hopes or your dreams of adventure or whatever. But anyway, I'm not gonna spy on them. This is kind of depressing. To <laughs> shit you. <laughs> you right? I see. I can't even describe my bitter disappointment. That primo fan service could have been yours. 
We headed back to the dining hall, leaving Monokuma standing there alone. But to be honest, even I was a little reluctant, uh, reluctant to turn down the offer. Uh, I guess we gotta go here. <laughs> it's like fantasy, fantasy, my fantasy. Also, um, so when Monokuma said that Primo fan service could have been yours, it actually could have happened. I believe what's required is an item, and I don't think I got it in time, but you there is a scene where you do you do go peek in. Um I I don't remember what the item is. I'm pretty sure in editing I'll correct myself, but yeah, I'm pretty sure you, there is a um an item required in order to do that. So, yeah. I wish I could have gotten to see this scene, but uh, second burp of the episode, sweet. Um, but anyway, um, I kind of wish I would have been able to see it. <sighs> so I guess you really dig the you dig the real thing, just like any other guy, huh? Mm -hmm. The only reason I care is because it's a good reference for creating figurines. A real live woman is useless to me, but looking at their naked form might be okay. Maybe, Jesus. Oh my god, what a misogynist, like, god damn. <laughs> no way. The girls heard you say that, we'd all be dead meat for sure. Shit, you right. Meanwhile, you heard the buzzing of busy voices growing louder. The girls had finished their baths and joined us in the dining hall. You got it. Oh man, what a nice this bath. This is fine. Getting a chance to stretch out and relax after all this time was a true Indeed. pleasure. Of course. Normally, after a long bath, I like to make myself a nice protein coffee. <laughs> Sorry, no time for that. So in the end, that's what I figured. Huh? Actually, we were just saying in the bath that how I was about time for you to get up some because... After seeing how happy we were, an evil little monster like you would never let that last for long. Mm. They're all so terrible to me. My entire existence! <laughs> Everyone's so cold and mean! Even after I got presents for you all! Presents? Well now, well now, well now, well now. Oh, have I got your attention? <laughs> then let's head to the gym. Where your presents await. See ya later! No questions, no dilly dallying. Get a move on and everything will become clear! Oh, um. What is it? What are you scheming this time? It would seem. It's probably gonna repeat the same thing again. Providing us with a motive to get things moving. Huh? Again? I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore. Ugh. Me either. I'm like totally traumatized. However, it's okay. We have Alter Ego. I'm sure he'll find something that'll help us. So for now, correct. We just have to endure it. It will come what may. Oh, well, looks like they're already here. But. We're gonna find out what happens here in the next episode. I'm actually not sure what what the full time for the episode is because I had to do a break in the middle. But um, hopefully it's good enough. Um, but yeah, in the next episode we'll find out what Monokuma has for us, and hopefully not anything bad. But I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you.